Well, <clears throat> today we're going to take a look at uh, mountain building, or the uh, the fancy term is orogeny. And uh, for mountain building, typically we're going to talk about some, some faults and we're going to talk about folding. What you really need to talk about is the stress that's put on a body of rock, or as in this uh, slide here, a, they call it a cube of rock, you know, with a section of land. There's uh, really three different stresses you can put on rock. You can tension, or you're pulling the rock apart, and what happens here, you're really lengthening the crust, and that would be tension. Compression is, in this one here, it's kind of like it sounds, you're pushing the rock together, and when you push it together, you are shortening the crust. And this last one down here is shear. Uh, shear is really a transform fault when we talked about the San Andreas fault. You're not lengthening, uh, you're not shortening the crust, you're moving the crust back and forth against each other. Uh, the other part we need to talk about when we talk about uh, faults and mountain building is the uh, I guess we don't need this, is what's called the uh, foot wall, the hanging wall. And this goes back to the mining days. And you look at the uh, the slide here, uh, the miners in, you know, in the cave mining in the ore vein. And if you remember, ore is a rock that be, uh be mined for profit. Well, the term comes back from these mining days when the miner would be standing on the floor here. This would be called the foot wall. The hanging wall was where the miner actually hung his lamp so he could, uh, you know, use a pick or whatever and uh, and mine the the ore vein. So these are the terms. That, you know, they're still with with us today. The foot wall and the hanging wall. Uh, one type of mountain building we <clears throat> briefly touched on was the Himalayans, and that is a fold. And a fold is is these are not faults. These are just the uh, the convergent boundaries in the case of Himalayans where the land has been folded or squeezed together but there's no breaks in the land like in a fault and you get this nice kind of <coughs> rolly type of features here. Uh, the terms anticline and syncline we'll look at those when we talk about historical uh, geology a little bit more. And a good example we talked about earlier are the Himalayan mountains. When the uh, Indian plate smacked up underneath the uh, Eurasian plate and we saw those nice things on Google Earth where this would be a convergent collision boundary. Here's the, the first type of fault, a normal fault, and as you can uh, guess normal faults are the ones that occur most often. And really what you're looking at when you start looking at a normal fault is stress. So you're lengthening the crust and to do this the hanging wall is moving down relative to the foot wall and that's what you're always looking for is what's going on with the hanging and the foot wall here you're lengthening in it uh, you can see that the hanging wall is moving down relative to the foot wall a good example of these type of mountains are the uh, Teton Mountains in Wyoming just south of Yellowstone National Park been out there a few times myself. You ever get a chance to go out there for my money? Probably the most beautiful range in the, uh, in the United States. But these are normal fault mountains. This would be this area in here would be Jackson Hole. You have the Snake River flowing all oh, right about in this area here, and uh, just gorgeous mountains. And these are normal fault mountains. The second type of uh, fault is a reverse or a thrust fault. These are not as common because what you're doing, you're pushing the hanging wall up and over the foot wall block. And this takes a lot more energy to do. It's much easier for, for blocks of the crust to slide apart and slip and lengthen than it is to push one over the top of another. You can imagine the amount of friction here and tension that, that occurs along here. And so when the hanging wall is pushed over the foot wall, you're talking about a reverse fault. Uh, an example of these are the uh, San Gabriel Mountains. They're out in uh, California. And these are an example of a reverse or thrust fault. The uh, third type of fault is that San Andreas Fault, 
uh, the strike slip. Uh, we looked at uh, transform boundary. Essentially, it's a strike slip. It's a fault line. I don't know why this keeps coming in. I guess I want to hit that one. And you can see there's no up or down movement of the hanging wall or the foot wall. They are sliding past one another. And the best example of this is the San Andreas Fault. And we have a car here for a little bit of scale here. And you can definitely see something's going on here. We have the grayish, probably some type of uh, sandstone here. And then we got a reddish sandstone there.